Yo, so I'm going to be showing you how to install the PSM SDK onto your PC and get it to work so you can actually build a project onto your PS Vita using the PSM Dev Assistant. So, let's just get this out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to head over to archive.org slash detail slash PlayStation Mobile. Uh, and once you're here, you want to click on show all then development tools um, SDK and then just download the latest SDK 2.0 so once the PSM SDK is downloaded you just need to click on it and install it's pretty simple to install you just go next next yes next install there's no um, nonsense like adware or whatever in the installer. This is official from Sony, so. This is what you would have gotten from Sony had you done it back in the day. Alright, and then you want to click next to install a driver. Alright, and it says it's ready to use. Just click finish and finish on there. And it will load up the documentation. Alright. There we go. Next you gotta to generate your publisher key and all that so it will actually work on your Vita. Okay, so what you wanna do to install the keys is go to the publishing utility. Alright, go to key management, then plug in your PS Vita. So I'm plug the PS Vita into your PC through the USB cable. If you're a PS TV user, I'm not quite sure how you're supposed to do this, but on a PS on a PS Vita, you can just plug it in. Up in here. Oh, it's enjoying the driver software. Alright, so now it's been in, now it's in use. Um, you'll notice as soon as that comes up, you then see this here, device name, um, seed bank, all that stuff bank. So what you want to do next is go to my GitHub page for Yoko PSM Plus. So you go to bitbucket.org. So that's your computer slash Yoko PSM Plus. Alright, and you want to go here. Alright, and then you want to download this program. 
Okay, and once you got that, you just want to put it inside like a PSM plus folder. So let's just do that. PSM plus, right? You want to put it inside a PSM plus folder like that. And you just want to drop the exe in there. Okay, then you want to run it. Then just run the thing. Alright, I'll tell you for the device name. See, I should wait. Here, you just want to copy this device name. out and now you can click import device seed and go to that PSM plus folder you made right here keys PSM your name your thing got seed okay there you go now it's got the seed down now you can import the app key ring and there we go and now finally you want to import the publisher key which you can do right here and then you want to say no to confirming as well. Okay. And that is actually it. So now you can just close out of this. So now you've imported the keys. You can just head over to CMD. And run this as administrator. Alright. And then you want to type in setx ms build enable property functions 1. Just like that. Alright. And it will say specified value is saved. Now, after you've done that, you are basically done. You can open up PSM Studio. Um, and then, you can open PSM Studio, click on any of the demos, and just try build it for your console. And it should, until it work. You just need to change this to that option, and then click Run, Run. And you'll see it's building it, and it's deploying it to the device. And in a second, we'll see it come up on our console. And as you can see there, it is running.